Hello mum and dad, happy Friday. I have decided that I'm going to do the parental's videos again because why not? Shush, busy. Sorry, neighbours, noisy. But I'm not at home at, at the moment and I want to make sure that I have something to go up regularly because I've been finding excuses not to film and I really do enjoy doing it and interacting with people and this is fun and I get to talk to you which I really like and it would be better if we could do Skype but I have no desire to see the inside of your nostrils. So you're probably wondering how I am and the answer is pretty good actually. Um, I went to see Sausage Party the other day and it was bloody marvellous. Fucking foul, nasty and you know, so rude at times but hilarious and it was far more atheist than I expected actually. I was just going to I think it was a, a silly film about what happened if food was alive and it actually turned out to be much cleverer than I anticipated and was going to give it credit for and I'm glad I went to see it. I reckon that you might love it mum, dad um, might love it if you were to give it a chance and to give it bad language and Alex would adore it. I've been a bit ill in the last few days but I am feeling much much better now. I slept wonderfully last night uh, even though I was actually up until 4am chatting with a friend who had to stop here because um, he'd just been to some sort of concert show thing in Liverpool and he was going to stop with another friend here but that fell through and we have a camp bed in the living room so it was no big hardship. I forgot how much fun it was though to talk to other writers. I know my housemates are all writers and I enjoy this stuff immensely but I haven't actually spoken to them about writing properly in such a long time. And it's fun to do that. Although I did do some of that this morning, actually. That was interesting. But nowhere near in as much detail. Now, I'm reading several good books at the moment, and I'll tell you about them another time. But the main thing I want to talk about today is that I am actually feeling really adult again. I know I did this in a previous video where I talked about how buying a teapot made me feel adult. But this is even more. I have now got three bank accounts, the two I've had for a while. But I opened my own savings account now. And if there's anything more adult than opening a savings account, I don't know. It's just... It, it, it's weird. I, I now have this thing that I'm supposed to put money into every month and keep an eye on it to try and meet my savings goals. And I... I this is not something I would have given a shit about before. And I'm doing it. And this, it, it, it just feels unnatural to me. But it's something that I have to do. And maybe that's what adulthood is about. You have to betray your instincts and your natural desires to do things in order to get things done. And this is new and exciting. But something else that's new is that I whoops, have started to organise myself better. I'm not going to say that I'm amazing because I'm definitely not. But I am getting better at it. I actually bought myself an academic calendar thing so it runs from semester to semester well not semester but it has the semester dates in here and I'm using it to organize myself fully I have um, colored dots and stars in it to try and make myself more organized and it seems to be working so far except of course with the upload schedule there because I've been a bit ill sorry um, but I, I don't hate it and I'm actually trying to stick to it. I know I've not done that all the time, but I'm going to do it. And I did a baking day the, the other day. I made brownies, which were gorgeous. I made my own bread, which didn't rise that much, but it was a different recipe. And I think I did, um, what's that word? Need it too much the second time round. So I know where I went wrong and how to sort it the next time, which is excellent. I'm also in talks with someone to become a professional um, editor with their company. And that is amazing. I mean, it's an online company based out of Germany, actually, so if I do manage to go there next year, and I certainly intend to work hard at that because I don't want another problem like this one, then I can go there and meet them in person too. But just the fact that someone is considering me this, I'm doing lots of adult things, this negotiating, and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. And, I, I, oh, it's weird but fantastic. I won't pretend that I'm adult enough to have kept my room absolutely spotless because, well, I'm still me, 
but it's far better than it, it could be. You know this to be very true. I'm actually using a desk for my laptop and it's staying on the desk. It's awesome. And I'm very excited. But I'm doing the other stuff too. Organising um, events for societies, getting involved again. And I am loving it. Things are going pretty well for me right now. And I'm doing the crazy icing again, aren't I? <laughs> so I will speak to you on Sunday then, I think. Is it? In a few days anyway. Sunday sounds like a good one. And I shall speak to Grandma in a bit as well. Because... I've not spoken to her last week. I, I meant to, and then I was ill and I didn't fancy it. Although it wouldn't really have been any hardship, except I was just sleeping pretty much all the way through Friday. I've been having a recurring dream where I'm in Pontio, the big art centre here, but we've, it's about twice the size, and it's got water slides running up and down the whole thing, and then there's a dragon chasing me. But because I pretty much lucid dream every time I dream, I, I know this, so then I can choose where to hide, where to go, where to, how to get away from it. At one point I managed to grab the dragon and ride on it, and it's weird. Anyway, I'd better go because I'm getting kind of hungry now, and I'm going to go and sort out some tea. Probably spaghetti bolognese. Well, not spaghetti bolognese, because I don't buy spaghetti. But fusilli bolognese. Could be quite nice. Well, no, it will be nice, because I'm the one cooking it. <laughs> Michelle's mother... Uh, did us a massive favour and put in an order on Asda online for us and we just put in a few things and it came to a very small amount and she tripled the, the amount of stuff that we put on there and including it in cartons of wine and I can't believe I was actually excited about that because I'm not a wine person it's weird <laughs> anyway I better go now stomach is starting to rumble and nobody needs to hear that on camera so I love you both dearly I shall see you and speak to you very very soon bye